It is the drivers of the USAC Silver Crown Series here in the Sumar Classic. We go to green. Buell going to barrel off into turns one and two. Bacon going to jump out to the early advantage. Swanson quickly up into second, the 21, trying to hold on to third. Look at the inside line. You got a driver charging that inside. That is the 22, making his name known early in this one. Now look at Steve. He's had such a great record on the half miles, trying to make something happen. Mario Clouser did a good job of the early going running four. You see him go up and the car just kind of leans over on the right, but there's no bite there. So the run he had in the middle of one and two kind of fades away. He goes back to the top over turns three and four down to the bottom. Oh, look out the 77, a misstep by Swanson. He's going to lose two around to the front side of the speedway. Oh, he had to take a deep breath. He almost collected the fence there in turn number four. Now he reloads. Good thing looking at the track right now, it doesn't look too bad. It's starting to get a little black over in turns three and four. It's not rubbered up though, it's just slick. It's got that nice shine to it. It's when it starts to get dull, that's your indication. The best way to explain it, take a black crayon, go to a sheet of paper and just go as hard and as fast as you can. And then next to it, do a lighter shade. And that sheen, that shine indicates slick where it's nice and deep colored and you lose the shine. That's Correct. where the rubber's starting that's to set. Right. And trust me. Oh, look out. We got one around. Wow, that was right in front of second and third. And that's Jimmy Light. Jimmy Light, that distinctive design. And off a of turn at number four, we go back to green. Going under caution on lap number 31, we go back to green with 37 laps in the book, 63 remaining. And Brady, now, going to have to fend off the charge of Dason personally. Dason tried and turns one and two. Denied. See if he gets a run this time into turns three and four. Brady going to enter to the middle. Dason likewise. Both drivers rolling up onto the cushion through turns number four. They'll bring it around to the front straightaway, and it will be Brady leading. Logan CB right there as well. He will try to take a look at second here as they work into turns three and four. Question is, can he get a run? Brings her all the way up on the cushion, trying to carry that momentum around. Can he turn it down onto the inside? He's going to give it a shot. Not quite, though. He is on the back bumper hunting, though, as it continues to be personally leading now. Here he goes down to the inside. Slide for second up across the racetrack. The Bloomington Bison, number 22, has got it onto the back straightway. Yeah, so they indeed. Ronnie Gardner, the Johnny Capels mechanic of the year last year, and very talented CV working together to say, yep, we've got what it takes to slide into second and execute it, and he's coming for more. By the way, Jerry Coos Jr. in a final ride for the 55, and Patty Bateman had made his way to the top 10. Ooh, look out, battle for wow. second in traffic. Man, what a save. As he had Matt Goodnight, just about said goodnight to number 22. So he is all the way on the cushion, the exit to number four. Brady actually turned it down off of the cushion there, and here it comes. Move to the inside for the race lead. Does he have the run off of turn number two? He does not. It will be Brady Bacon as CV Man got caught in the middle and really had to wait on the car. That's going to allow Brady to absolutely gap him as they work into turns three and four by half a straightaway. As Bacon going to make his way by, and he's about to have some company here. Boy, look at the Whoa. run. Wow. Here we go. Down to the inside Hold for the on. race lead. Oh. Got it. Brady Bacon forced on the binders, and you've got a new leader to the back straightaway. The run that Logan CV had. Into turns three and four, he carries it onto the back straightaway. And here and now, Mitchell. I have to wonder if something isn't going wrong with Brady's car. As he has really lost some speed, he has fallen to third in a matter of a lap. New leader, though, Logan Seavey will take over 55 laps of the books. Here comes Pursley, last restart. Saw him charge up and take third. He looks for second, can't get it up across the racetrack. Grants to his inside battle for the third spot. Now Grant saw that and went right to the bottom. Now it's going to be a drag race into three. Justin Grant, Dason, Pursley. This is going to be tight coming off the floor. It's going to be Pursley up on the cushion, letting that right rear hum as they come around to the front straightaway. Fins off the charge of the Himmelgarn Nas for 91. Good rebound. Sitting nicely right now. Problems for the 119. Mole slow on the front straightway. Oh, Something going awry to the driver who is running in second. And he's going to roll her up on the cushion. He'll come around this time to the wave of the white flag. We've got one to go in this one. CB wow. in the number 22. Half mile away from victory. Personally, so close to the fence in turn number four. Grant running third. All season long, he has been in search of a silver crown win. 
And he's going to roll into turns three and four for the final time here in the Sumar Classic. And he will pick up season win number 18, Logan Seavey. Wins in 22. And becomes a sprint midget and silver cup.